Today we're going to be doing a DC fast charge test with the Volkswagen ID4 first edition. This vehicle has an 82 kilowatt hour battery, 77 kilowatt hours of that is usable. Volkswagen reserves that uh, five kilowatt hour buffer, which is not a big buffer for considering the size of the battery. Um, and, and because they only reserve five kilowatt hours, they do recommend that you only charge to 80%, kind of like how Tesla and now Volvo with the XC40 recharge does. They reserve a small buffer, and they recommend the customers don't fully charge. But we're not gonna heed that recommendation here. I drove this thing down to 2%. I just completed a 70 mile an hour highway range test for inside EVs, and uh, the Volkswagen ID4 was able to drive 230 miles at a constant 70 miles an hour, had 2% battery left with an estimate four miles. So I rounded it off and said this is a 234 mile, 70 mile highway range test. Pretty darn good considering it only has an EPA range rating of 250 miles plus the fact that it's cold. It was in the 40s today, not really great for range, but that's not why we're here today. We're talking DC fast charge. This vehicle has the ability to accept up to 125 kilowatts, but I have no idea what the charging curve looks like. These are brand new. Um, they're not even available for sale yet here in the US. I was one of the first people in the country to get one of these as a media loan. Um, so now we're gonna plug it into a 150 kilowatt DC fast charger. We're gonna record the whole session. I'm gonna talk in the background as we go over what state of charge it is and how long it takes to charge. Um, one thing that I should note is that the ID4 comes with three years of unlimited charging on the Electrify America network if you purchase or lease one. Unfortunately, since this is a media car, I don't get that option. I, I've gotta pay for it, but that's okay. Uh, and the only other thing I wanna note is that Unfortunately, the car doesn't come with plug and charge feature um, that uh, Electrify America has enabled on their network. Now, I'm a little, little disappointed with that, uh, especially because it's the Volkswagen Group. The Volkswagen Group owns Electrify America and uh, the, uh, the Porsche Taycan has plug and charge already. The Mustang mach -E is coming out with plug and charge. So you would think that the Volkswagen Group's vehicles would be the first ones to all come standard with plug and charge technology. Basically, plug and charge technology allows you to just pull up to a charging station, plug the vehicle in, and walk away. It recognizes the vehicle the charging station does, it communicates, and it automatically bills your the account that you've previously set up. You don't have to pull out an app and activate the session or take out an RFID card or swipe a credit card. Plug and charge makes it really simple. It's kind of like how Tesla's been doing their superchargers all along, but now, the other manufacturers get to play with a similar technology. Uh, and I'm looking forward to Volkswagen adding it to these vehicles. But for now, it's not activated. I've got to pull out my app, activate the charging session. Such is life. Anyway, hang in there, watch the video. We're gonna talk about what's going on, talk about the charging curve, and then we'll do a wrap up once it's all over. But first, don't forget, Click that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, so you don't miss any upcoming EV and EV charging content here on State of Charge. I plugged in at 2% State of Charge and the ID4 was immediately pulling an impressive 120 kilowatt. By the time the State of Charge reached 5%, we were already charging at 127 kilowatt, slightly higher than Volkswagen's listed maximum charge rate of 125 kilowatt. The car continued to accept between 127 and 128 kilowatt all the way up to 30% state of charge. And it only took 12 minutes to get there. That's pretty impressive. That's when the ID4 begins to ramp down its charge rate. But when it reached 40% state of charge, the vehicle was still taking in a respectable 110 kilowatt, not bad. It drops below the 100 kilowatt line at 47% state of charge. And when the ID4 was at 50% state of charge, it was accepting 94 kilowatt. At 60% state of charge, it was then charging at 80 kilowatt as the charge rate starts to go down. By the time it reaches 70% state of charge, the charge rate had dropped to down to 65 kilowatt. It holds the 65 to 66 kilowatt all the way up to 80% state of charge, which happens in 38 minutes. That's an important number 
because Volkswagen advertises that the ID4 can charge from 5% to 80% in, you guessed it, 38 minutes. I charged from 2% to 80% in 38 minutes, slightly better than what Volkswagen has promised. Once the ID4 reached the 80% state of charge limit, uh, the charge rate dropped off precipitously, and it took 10 minutes to go from 80% to 90% state of charge, and that's when I unplugged. By then, the ID4 was only accepting 38 kilowatt. So we charged from 2% to 90% in 48 minutes. And at 90% state of charge, the ID4 was still accepting 38 kilowatt. We took in a total of 71 kilowatt hour and the charging session cost me $21.70 plus New Jersey sales tax, which added an additional $1.46. One of the things I look for when I do these DC fast charge tests is how long does it take to replenish 100 miles of range? Since the ID4 has a 250 mile EPA range rating, it needs about 40% of the battery to reclaim 100 miles of driving range. Since I plugged in at 2%, I wanted to see how long it took to get to 42%. And in the case of the ID4, it took only 16 minutes, and that's pretty good. If I wanted to hang out at the DC fast charger for 30 minutes, it would have recovered 175 miles of driving range. Again, pretty good. Now, of course, to get these fast charging rates, you have to plug in at a low state of charge like I did, down to 2%. If I would have plugged in at 50%, that 16 minutes would only have reclaimed 55 to 60 miles, not the 100. Because as the state of charge rises in electric vehicles, all of them, not just the ID4, the DC fast charge rate slows down. So overall, the ID4 has a pretty good fast charging rate. The, the, the peak uh, rate of 125 kilowatts uh, is, is, is more than acceptable. The charging curve is pretty good. I'd give the ID4's DC fast charging capability a solid B. It's not the best DC fast charging electric vehicle available today, but it is far from the worst. I'd like to know what you think about the ID4's DC fast charging. Let us know in the comment section below and thanks for watching.